Speak Out Intermediate, Unit 1.1, Reading Section. Hello everyone! I hope you're all safe and sound and ready to study. In this video lesson, you're going to read a text about bilingualism, answer some questions about the text, focus on some words and phrases in the text, and finally, I'm going to give you some options for further study and practice. Now, I think we can start. First of all, to support your understanding, let's remember the meaning of bilingual. As a noun, bilingual means a person who can speak two languages equally well. For example, how many bilinguals are there in the world? As an adjective, bilingual means able to speak two languages equally well. For example, Jennifer is bilingual in English and Spanish. Now, please focus your attention on the title of the text. Bilinguals – Exotic Birds or Everyday People Think about it for a time. Yeah, I can hear you saying. Bilinguals are unusual like exotic birds. Or, they are usual like everyday people. Can we see bilinguals very often? Or not quite often? You think bilingualism is awesome? Or it's not a big deal? So now, what do you think the text is about? To find out, let's read the text in the next two pages. Now, pause the video for five minutes and read it quickly. Are you done? What is the text about? Yes, you're right. The text is about some of the most common myths about bilingualism. Well done! Now, we're going to read the text again, but this time in detail because we have questions to answer in detail. As you know, before reading, it's important to understand questions well to give correct answers. Let's see the questions first. One, what six languages do you think the writer and his sister speak? Two, how do you think the writer learned each of his languages? Three, how many of the world's people are thought to be bilingual? Four, what are those who learn their second language as children better at compared to those who learn a second language as adults? Five, what health benefit of being bilingual is mentioned in the text? In the next two pages, you'll see the text. Please pause the video to read and answer the questions. Are you ready to answer? OK, let's start with the first question. Tell me six languages the writer and his sister speak. Correct! Danish, English, Portuguese, Spanish, Italian and German. Second question. Tell me how he learned all these languages. Yes, he learned Danish and English from his mother, Spanish from his father, Portuguese, Italian and German from living in countries where those languages are spoken. Third question. Give me the estimated percentage of bilingual people in the world. Good. Around 50% of people are thought to be bilingual. Fourth question. Tell me what people can do better when they learn a second language as children. Right. People who learn their second language as children are better at pronunciation compared to those who learn a second language as adults. Fifth question. Tell me about the health benefit of being bilingual. Bilinguals have protection against mental illnesses such as Alzheimer's. Good job, you all! Now let's study some vocabulary. Here you see some meanings. 
1. Relating to the language you grew up speaking in paragraph 1. 2. Learned by listening or watching other people in paragraph 2. Speaking many languages in paragraph 3. False ideas that people continue to believe and repeat in paragraph 3. Learn without needing to try hard, for example, a language in paragraph 5. Understand important truths about a subject in paragraph 7. You're going to find the correct word for or phrase that matches each of these meanings. Now, pause the video for 3 or 4 minutes to find the words and phrases in a text. Okay, ready? Let's go through the meanings. Relating to the language you grew up speaking, native. My native language is Turkish. What is your native language? 2. Learned by listening or watching other people. Pick up. Pick something up. I'd like to pick up Japanese in Japan. You? Which country would you like to live in to pick up its language? Speaking many languages. Multilingual. I think Natalie Portman is a very successful person. She is multilingual. She speaks English, Hebrew, German, Spanish, and even Japanese. Do you know any multilingual celebrities? False ideas that people continue to believe and repeat. Persistent myths. Many people believe that the Apple logo of Apple Incorporated represents the falling apple that led Isaac Newton to discover the gravity concept, but the creator of the logo says this is false. Do you know any persistent myths like that? Learn without needing to try hard, for example, a language. Acquire. There are some ways to acquire a new language. For example, you can take online lessons and practice regularly for short amounts of time. Can you think of other ways to acquire a new language? Understand important truths about a subject. Gain insights. These days, we have gained insights into health, economy and life because of coronavirus. What are your insights you have gained into these subjects because of Corona? Finally, here are some suggestions for further study and practice. You can do the exercises from A to D on page 144 and 145 in reading section in supplementary pack. And practice reading with speak out extra activities. The link is available here. Also, you can watch this video about bilingualism on YouTube and try to answer these questions after watching. What is the study in this talk about? Who has the full potential to learn two languages at the same time and why? What are the benefits of bilingual environments for language and brain development? What are the findings of the study? Do you recommend this talk to your friends and why? You can also record your answers while speaking and get feedback from your teachers. That's all for this video lesson. Keep studying and learning English. Take care.